When you're printing cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, you know, those come together and you're trying to print a gray. You want that gray to look a solid gray as if you were just printing like 50% black. If you would then have a breakdown of like 30, 30, 30, 30, or, or 30, 30, 30 for cyan, magenta, and yellow, or something around there. So when you have your press set so that a combination of cyan, magenta, and yellow printed together shows up as a gray that matches perfectly to a gray. And it doesn't look like a gray, like when you were a kid and mixing a bunch of colors together that potentially turns like a little brownish or gets a little red or gets a little blue or a little bit too yellow, that that gray looks indeed like a black. So the whole reason for that is, is that's a start point that from everything else that's printed, it can, it can look the best that it's gonna look.